I also want to quickly talk about and mention this interesting story, um, courtesies of Photos for Ye, which has been spread by most people who are kind of, you know, within the Kanye universe and kind of, you know, Kanye stan accounts. But effectively, this is Kanye's response to somebody reaching out to him about Yeezy Day. I'm not sure if the person is known to Kanye. I'm not sure if the person just asked a random question about the stock concerning Yeezy Day. But effectively, Yeezy Day was something that's been promoted by Adidas. And I think it started from last year. And essentially, it's a day where Adidas Originals basically re-release or try to resell or basically get rid of dead stock Yeezy items such as slides or, you know, 700s or 350s or wave whatever it may be called, right? Um, shoes concert within the kind of Yeezy brand um, catalog. Unfortunately for me, I was looking to buy some Yeezy boots, um, especially some of the Desert Rat ones going going forward, but the Desert Brown ones sorry, going forward. But unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of those because there was one on the list. Mostly, I just saw a lot of Wave Runners, a lot of 700s, a lot of 350s, a lot of 380s, a lot of slides, and that's about it, and some foam runners. But I didn't really see any um, Desert boots. But it looks like a pretty good um, way for a lot of Yeezy fans to get a hold of stuff you might have missed out on um, and maybe to get a hold of some OG stuff that came out in, in the back in the day, like the I think it was um, the Turtle Dove um, 350s or whatever they were called, right? They were meant to come out again. But again, I wasn't able to get a pair because the site basically kept crashing. By the time I was able to log on, everything was sold out. So that was out of my um, purview. But it's interesting, interesting to see what Kanye has to say about Yeezy Day and Adidas in general because effectively what we're basically seeing here is Kanye complaining about another corporation that he's working with, which makes me get to the point where i'm like if you keep complaining about everybody sometimes just look in the mirror and think to yourself is it maybe me if it's always happening to you it might end up being you in the end right it might not be end up being everyone's fault that's kind of a common adage going forward sometimes it can be all your it can be sometimes the other person's fault and you just kind of have severe you're kind of one of the most severely unlucky people in the history of the world but most of the time it's usually an issue that concerns yourself. And I feel like when it comes to Kanye and when it comes to working with corporations, I feel like he's either very naive or he's very gullible or maybe both because he sometimes believes that there's always a better corporation around the corner who's going to be able to, you know, do everything that he pleases and they're also not going to annoy him and they're also going to let him do whatever he wants to do, right? I don't think that they exist. I think corporations, regardless of how successful you are, are always going to want to stick their nose in and get involved and change things around because effectively, the people who are working in those corporations, the people who are working high up in those positions, the executives or whatnot, or the board members and stuff, they also have a job to do. And they also have people to promote, people to impress, sorry, to get promotions. So why wouldn't they want to have their name associated with one of the biggest projects, one of the biggest money earners associated with Adidas, one of the biggest cultural moments associated with Adidas um, out there? Why wouldn't they want to get themselves involved in this? So I think Kanye complaining about Easy Day and complaining that Adidas maybe never spoke to him and it's something that they created without his, of, without his written permission, blah, blah, blah. I think it's a bit rich. But regardless, let's read the comment anyway. The reply back on DMs to this guy called chase um chase was it was it called chase sees ghost it says as follows this is kind of replying to the guy via instagram dms because i guess Kanye is using instagram a lot more these days i see him liking random posts on random accounts he's leaving comments on people's pages and shit and clearly he's following people too and clearly he's replying to people's dms this is the follows adas made up the easy day idea without my approval then went then went and brought back older styles without my approval picked colors and named them without my approval and went and hired people that worked for me without my approval stole my colorways without my approval stole my styles and materials approach without my approval went and hired a gm of yeezy without my approval took talent on the production side and sprinkled them throughout adidas originals without my approval even though they did a Balenciaga collaboration they they completely sold slowed down the production of the shoes um, on the shoes me and them to develop for the Gap by trying to bully Gap even though my contract states I can do casual shoes which was which I was doing when I did fashion shows now that's an interesting bit because I think there's been a lot of confusion around is Yeezy under Adidas Originals or is Yeezy its own entity now I guess what we know now for sure is that Adidas produces Easy Yeezy shoes and he definitely has a exclusive contract signed with Yeezy that doesn't allow him to basically make shoes with other companies. So he's got a non, what's it called? He's got a non-competitive clause or something in there. So he can't do any Nike with Nike, any work with sorry Nike, New Balance, anything that you would consider direct competition to what um, Yeezy do. But then I guess he then 
fine tune the contract to say that he can do footwear for other brands who don't primarily do you would guess trainers or something whatever it may be called or maybe the model doesn't need to be deemed as a trainer i don't know whatever it may be but that's an interesting part of the story there that he's getting irate about it says um even though my contract states i can do casual shoes which i was doing and did fashion shows um when originally i ordered adas to make more yeezy slides the gms to my said to my face so he lied to my face and said they didn't have the capacity meanwhile adas was copying my slides and making their own version of the yeezy slide yeezy is 68 percent of the adas online sales god step in the yeezy slide question comment from kanye is really interesting because no sorry not yeezy slide um yeah yeezy slide comment is interesting is it interesting what i'm saying because from what I've basically seen, having been a bit of a Nike fiend my entire life, Nike were notorious for this, right? They'd bring in a influencer, a brand, a celebrity, or they just make a, a really hype model to kind of commemorate a public holiday. And usually what happened is that you can count your bottom dollar on it like two months later, or maybe sometimes even a month later, there'll be a similar colorway that'll come out of that limited edition shoe as a gr so they're basically double dip in that respect and i was always under the i always kind of thought to myself if you're a creative and you got a chance to make some shoes with nike and then two months later a month later you saw them in flipping foot locker would that kind of annoy you because you think like maybe i was, I was meant to be exclusive meant to sell out meant to be something that kind of people kind of remember it was a good moment and now who you are selling the same type of shoe with super you know, with far less quality materials or maybe some stuff removed from it and you're calling it the same thing it's like no it's not the same thing at all zero i think that's really weird the other line i think that's really interesting too that i'm not really sure if, if that's legit or not because it sounds like a crazy number but he says at the bottom here yeezy is 68 percent of adidas's online sales 68 percent which is absolutely nuts i'm not sure if this includes adidas originals the website much of it includes Adidas performance website. Much of it includes all Adidas are sold all online in terms of all different stores, all the big stores out there like Dover Street and Essence and stuff. I'm not too sure. But regardless, even if it's just him competing with Adidas's main site, to account for over half of their sales online on just Yeezy product is wild to me. Maybe it makes more sense because a lot of their items, when it comes to Yeezys, average you know per ticket item is maybe a hundred plus maybe 150 plus right so maybe it makes sense that they're able to make that much money but god damn it man how are they able to make that much money it's absolutely crazy how much money are you able to make off the back of that um and yeah the copying thing is just is what it is honestly i don't sure people kind of get their knickers and twist about it but overall my pain about this concerning kanye and corporations is that corporations are always going to cooperate they're always going to do what they're going to do and to sit there and expect corporations to kind of bend at your wall because you make them a lot of money is silly because many people have come in and made them money and they've still kind of fucked them over and i also think it's interesting too because this may be some sort of proof from that infamous kanye interview with sway where he's like how sway how sway maybe sway at a point at some point you're going to need to invest in yourself and just do this by yourself but kanye loves talking about dismantling the industry or kind of bursting through but he effectively wants to work with them really really bad it kind of explains that video of kind of kanye west holding rick owens's plate as he's eating and shit secretly he's always going to be part of the fashion glitterati he probably hides a little bit well because he stays in california all the time but he's always going to be in paris he's always going to be on the front row he's just going to be hobnobbing all the big executives and, the, and magazine editors and stuff that's what he's always going to do but unfortunately things never really transpired that way but i don't know man i just think it's a bit weird that he's complaining because again i think i mentioned on twitter that it kind of sounds to me a little bit similar to like wale when wale was complaining about record labels and about getting swindled and about they don't really help you and uh, he then he then like a couple weeks later goes and signs for another label and says nah but this one's different it's like come on man you can't just be going from one hand sh golden handshake to another just because they're giving you a nice little advance beforehand that's just like that's just stupid to me personally i'd never like that kind of stuff but again kind of complaining about adidas let's see where this takes us does this mean we'll get more adidas stuff from kanye that doesn't mean you'll throw his toys at the prime and just go with somebody else Let's wait and see.